Train Lover 1974 presents Thomas and his friends and the Christmas party. The engines were all excited. It was almost near Christmas, and everybody was happy for the it was near the Christmas season. Man, I cannot wait for our Christmas party tonight. We're gonna have so much fun, especially when the snow falls. It'll be all against my paintwork, and it'll look really nice in the in the snow. You'll probably look like a candy cane, James. Oh, be quiet, Henry. Uh uh uh. But anyway, I think Thomas actually went over the top this year. I don't think so. You actually look really nice, Thomas. Thank you, Edward. Thomas had gotten dressed up a bit this year for t Christmas. He had snow put on top. He had fixed snow put on top of his cab to make it look like it was snow when it actually wasn't. Thomas also had some lights put on to the side of his tanks as to feel more holly jolly, including even adding a Santa's hat on top of him. Man, I am so excited for the Christmas party tonight. But it's too bad we have some jobs to do before then. I need to take the express. I need to head down to the harbor and pick up the flying kipper. Strange, so do I. I have to pick up a good strain there. In fact, I'm setting off now. Wait, what? The turntable is turned toward duck. I have to hurry. And then we can head to the Christmas party. Hoo hoo. Duck then set off. Oh. Well, at least I'll be... Sorry, Henry. I have to go next. The Express cannot wait for anybody. See you later, Henry. Alright, I'm staying off next. I have to hurry, too. Well, at least we don't have any rest of the jobs for the day. I actually have one more. I have a passenger train to pick up. Up is the Christmas carolers for the party tonight. All right, then. Good luck, Thomas. Peep, peep. Meanwhile, down at the harbor, Duck had just arrived. All right, come on, driver. Whoa, slow down, Duck. The faster we hurry, the sooner we can get back to the ship. The sooner we can get down to the Christmas party. They're going to be setting it up soon, and we don't want to be late. There's plenty of time, Duck. There's no need to hurry. Duck was coupled up and he was preparing to leave. That's when. That's when. Who, who? Oh no, said Duck, as Henry then pulled in. He backed down to the flying kipper. Come on, Henry, I was going to set off next. Sorry, Duck, this train is important. So was my good strain. That's when the points were suddenly switched. What the heck? Sorry, there's another train coming. It's coming in fast. It must be Gordon's Express. Indeed it was. Gordon was thundering down the rails. Rails with the Hemp Express. It was the final one before Christmas. Come on, come on, come on. It's almost Christmas and we don't want to be late. Oh, you too. He's going fast. Alright then, I'm saying off now. Now, we don't want to be late now. <laughs> come on. Come on, come on. Alright, then I'm saying off next. The signals quickly changed and Duck set off. Come on, Toad, we don't want to be late. Alright then, Mr. Duck. Anyway, Thomas was at the shed. Thomas was at the shed. Was at the um, on the Sorry about that. About that little angle. Anyway, Thomas was at the shed. No, on the at the junction. Yeah, there we go. Thomas was at the junction. He had Annie and Clarabelle. He was preparing to head to... He had the carolers, and he was preparing to head to Natford. Man, I cannot wait to get down back down to the sheds. 
The sheds probably look so nice, driver. They probably do, Thomas. But remember, we have to finish our work. Work. I know, driver. That's when they heard a whistle. Boo. Oh, it's Henry. Hey, Henry. Whoa. Well, he's going fast. Well, everybody's trying to get their jobs done before the halt, before the Christmas party. Well, yes. That's when another whistle. Who, who? It was Duck. He stormed by, pulling a small train. Hey, Duck. Sorry, Thomas. No time to talk. Wow, he's in also a hurry. I hope there won't be an accident. There probably won't be, Thomas. Well, come on, then. Hoo-hoo. No. Peep, peep. There we go. Here we go. Thomas and puffed up. Come along, Annie and Carbo. All right, we don't need to hurry. All right, no need to hurry. Meanwhile, Henry, he had to stop at a signal. What's with all the signals? We're going to be late. Calm down, Henry. We're ahead of schedule. Huh. But the signal had forgotten about Duck. Duck was storming down the line. Did not want to be there. Come on, driver. The cop. Whoa! Duck then slammed on his brakes. But it was too late. Oof. Duck had completely come off the rails. Rails causing the van one of the vans to also come off, including with um, the brake van. Mr. Duck, are you all right? I'm flying, Toad. Duck, what happened? The signal was green. Oops, sorry. Why are you? All right then. I'll flag down the I'll ask the station master to stop the express. Oh, Gordon won't let me forget this one. No, 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 no. Meanwhile, Gordon was thundering down the main line. Ha uh ha! -huh. Nothing can stop a splendid blue engine like me. That's when Gordon's driver noticed that the station, a station master, was flying a red flag. Whoa, Gordon! And there's a red flag! Oh, oh, what is it? What's going on? There's a train, a train. The flying kipper came off the rails. Oh, what's that Henry been up to? He came off the rails again? No, apparently Duck crashed into the back of the train. Now we have to wait. Oh, the indignity. The express cannot be delayed, especially since it's almost near Christmas. Quiet down, Gordon. Meanwhile, down the Henry was able Henry was able to get one of his he was able to pull one of his vans back onto the rails. He was going to take the rest of the train on. He'd have to stop at the next station. What about me? Don't worry, Duck. I'll get the breakdown crane. I need them set up. A problem then came. Gordon was blocking the main line, just as Henry pulled in. Get out of my way! Get out of my way! All right, all right. There's a yard near here. You can drop off your trucks there. Henry pulled into the yard. And that's when he noticed there was a crane there. Just in my luck. Henry then coupled up to the crane. You get the deal. Henry then pulled the crane out and went to go help Duck. Hang on, Duck, said Henry as he stormed backwards. Goes down the main line. Duck was cold. Oh, it's so cold, Toad. I know it is, Mr. Duck, but don't worry. Help will be here soon. Henry then pulled in. Hang on, Duck. Henry? Oh, thank God. Henry quickly got, the crane quickly got to work. Work, were you railing Duck? Meanwhile, Thomas was puffing back to Titmouth. Smith, he had dropped off Andy and Clarabelle and he was on his way home. Man, I can't wait to get back to the Christmas party. 
That's when Toad, he saw Toad. Whoa, driver. Toad, what are you doing here? Mr. Duck came off the rails, and Henry's helping to rerail him. Do you mind moving me into some of the trucks aside so this way they could reroute Duck? Of course I will. Duck, Thomas coupled up, and the driver uncoupled Duck from the train. And Thomas pulled the train out of the way. Meanwhile, the cranes had Duck high in the air. Whoa! Easy there, we got you. Whoa! Duck was then slowly lifted back onto the rails. Yay! Hooray! Hoo hoo! Oh, thank God. I'm back on the rails. Alright, we better get those van re-railed. I won't be able to get them now, but at least I can drop them off. At, the f at least I can drop off my remaining van at, the house at Vickerstown. And then we can head to the Christmas party. Alright then. Actually, how about I re-rail the vans and you go to the Christmas party? Drop off your van so this way you can go to the Christmas party. Are you sure? I mean, if you don't mind taking my trucks. Sure thing, I'll come back for them. Alright then. Duck took the breakdown crane to Henry, and Henry went to get back his vans. Vans. Soon Henry pulled in. He then recoupled back to his vans. vans. Henry then pulled out the yard, yard with his vans. Meanwhile, Duck had just re-railed the van and the brick brake van. Then he then pulled onto a siding so this way Henry could get through. And we then back down. And then coupled up the ducks train. Alright, Toad. Good luck. Thank you, Mr. Thomas. That's when Golden pulled in. Oh, the indignity. Golden was asked to pull onto his sign to let Henry pass. Well, Gordon, not such a guaranteed connection now. Oh, the indignity, said Gordon, as Henry then pulled out, taking the long train with him. So long, Mr. Thomas, so long, Mr. Duck. Okay, can I now go? Wait a minute, wait for me to get out of the way. Oh, the indignity. Waiting for a couple of tank engines. Now, Gordon, is that the right attitude to have near Christmas? Of course not, but I have to get going. I'm late as it is. Well, not that late, Gordon. Be quiet, driver. Goo. Goo -hoo. Express coming through. All right, then. Well, I better head on a way way, then. I gotta head back to Titmouth. I'll just drop off this crane and van in the yard. Duck then push the crane away, plus with the van. He arrived at the yard, and again shunting. Duck first shunted the van out of the way. Away into the side of it. So later, then somebody can pick him up. Duck then shunted the crane into place. Shut it into place. Thank you for your help, crane, but I have to get going. That's when Thomas passed by. Good luck, Duck. All right, then, said Duck as. Duck then puffed after him. Meanwhile, Henry had just dropped off Duck's goods train and he had picked up Toad. Alright, Toad, let's take you back to the yard. Yards. Okay, Mr. Henry. Henry then puffed off after he head down to the yards. At Titmouth, meanwhile, the, the sheds had been decorated and Gordon had just finished the express. 
Phew, that was such a long run. I just finished up with some of my passengers. And I had to take a coal train. They finished up the mail. And I finished up my trains. So have I. Now we're available for Christmas. And I've just finished the express. Phew. What a long run that was. I'm happy I won't be doing that again for tonight. Right, especially since I heard Duck and, it, Duck and Henry had an accident and I had to get out and I had to wait for them and pull onto a sign for a couple of tank engines. Really, Gordon? Even on Christmas, you still have that attitude. Oh, the indignity. It's the time for giving, not for taking. And plus, it's always a nice time to be nice to everybody. All right, Edward. Well, I mean, it's at least it's, at least it's almost Christmas, at least. Indeed, Thomas. Wait, Duck, how'd you not sustain any damage? Oh, the crash wasn't too serious. Even though I did come off the rails, I only vented my buffer beam a bit. But they said I could continue on for the Christmas party tonight. I'll go to the work tomorrow to have it checked out. All right, then. Henry then pulled in at last. Hello, Henry. Hello, guys. How did the flying kipper go? Rough? I guess you can call it the rough kipper. I'll be quiet. Well, I mean, it's at least we can start the Christmas party. Indeed. Na, 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 na. The engines had a great time. They chatted, enjoyed Christmas music. The drivers and firemen threw the lights on, even turned on Thomas's lights. Is this the Christmas you've wanted, Thomas? Indeed, Edward. Merry Christmas to everybody out there, and always keep safe. Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas and Happy New Year's, everybody. Bye-bye.